Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm back with part two of today's message. And um, so these are, I went to the crystal shop yesterday, so I often go and um, add crystals to the crystal grid that I do um, to help bring all twin flames into their unions. And the two that I was drawn to was the titania, uh, the titanium quartz crystal. And this is to enhance personal power. And to, uh, the crystal has the ability to enhance your aura and activate your rainbow body. And it will also charge the, the chakras in your body and restore peace, balance and harmony. And if you look at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I was very drawn to put this on the grid. So this is about restoring peace, balance and harmony and enhancing your rainbow body and, um, and increasing your personal power. And then the next one that I bought, which is if you watched the, this morning's read, um, in the letter that I read out, which was another number 85, it said about the stone. And the reason why I was like, oh my God, the stone, is because I had bought this, this stone, which is a chrysanthemum stone, to put on the crystal grid as well. And if you look at it, I was totally drawn to it straight away because it was a butterfly. Or well, I was, that's what I saw in it straight away. So it really spoke to me. And this but this stone is basically, um, it's about having a calming energy that assists you in feeling centered, um, but also brings joy and childlike happiness into your life. And it's about being able to stay into the, pre being able to be fully present in the moment. Um, and allows you to see the bigger picture. So I just thought it was so perfect because um, it's not into, you know, these are the two that I was drawn to. Um, and so I've just been researching them um, just now and I can see totally why, because it's about personal power, being in the moment and um, childlike joy. So, and activating the rainbow body. So, Again, just so lovely. So these are the latest little additions to go on the Crystal Grid. Um, if you want to join the Crystal Grid, then I basically charge up uh, rose quartz crystals and I send you a rose quartz and um, a picture of the grid and then you can put, you know, create your own altar at home. Um, all details are in the link. But again, I just loved it because I also love how they look together and um, that yeah they're just amazing just amazing so um, that's just a thing about if you're a member of the crystal grid then you get, will be receiving all of that energy from those crystals so the next thing that I'm going to do is just share um, was going to do a fairy card for us so I'm just going to ask to pick the one that we need for today oh and it is the Number 38, I think it says Leicester. I can't really read that. Leicester means daughter. Anyway, we'll find out. Okay, so it's a gorgeous card. Um, looks a bit like the fairy. This looks a bit like a fairy on the stone as well. So, um, okay, let me just read this. So this is the guidance that we need today. This is with help from the crystals and with help from... Look at that rainbow crystal, it's just so gorgeous, I love it. Okay, so it is this, this is the description. And this is why I love these cards, because they just give, you know, that's why it's really nice, isn't it, to use lots of different things, because they give you such different meanings. So, light cast in shadows, spiritual guidance, illumination. So, she is the bringer of light in the darkness. Yet moonlight both reveals and conceals. Her bright fairy hoof prints light the path ahead of you, guiding you through the dark. She is also one of the guides at the passages between the other worlds and this one. It is she who with her bright light tends the gate of revelation, showing us the way through by illumination, while her sister helps guide us through the gate of despair. 
Uh, Leicester's Gate is much more fun. Yay, childlike fun, which is what this is. She's she's holding the stone of childlike fun. Yeah, in the process of guiding up, guiding us, Leicester made pull a veil of cloud across the face of her mother, the moon, and three steps later we fall into a bog. That should wake you up. Oh my God, crazy sink from the first video. She thinks and smiling wisely. She disapproves of sleepwalking, which is something that most of us humans do a great deal of the time. The night contains too much magic and beauty and wisdom to walk through it unseeing. You may find her activities helpful. You may find them frustrating. How you take them is entirely up to you, but they are intended to help you awaken. Bear in mind that she does not trip us. She Bear. The reason why I always laugh when I see bear is because I use a golden bear in the healing that I do for people. So, bear in mind that she does not trip us. She merely places an obstacle or a pitfall in our path, and we, sleeping, sleepwalking and unaware, step right into it. We don't have to do that. As always, it is our choice. Leicester wants us to be open to the great unknown, to the mystical experiences that teach us an expanded way to relate to the multiverse all of the worlds and dimensions together she is daughter of the moon but she is also an illumined child of unity <gasps> where the frog queen oh my god the frog sorry but the frog <laughs> the frog's right here as well the frog queen wishes you to get in touch with your subconscious and find the treasures there Lester hopes she will reach for your higher self, your not yet realized cosmic wisdom. You know far more than you know you know. There are places in ourselves that we may have feared because they are shadowed and unknown. We, ima we, ima we may imagine them full of monsters when in fact they are inhabited by joyful spirits. She wishes us to explore this terra incognita because that is where much of our potential and as yet unexplored wisdom lies. Leicester reaches into our deepest minds, opening long shut doors, illuminating and revealing the uncultivated ground of our being, our hidden senses and talents. She speaks to us in the language of symbols, as fairies often do, because words are so limited. Any one symbol may speak to us on many levels of our, our consciousness and about many different aspects of being. If we spend time contemplating it, Lester is a finx, and finding the answers to her profound riddles, riddles gives us the keys to the multiverse. If you are attending to your dreams and visions and studying everyday occurrences, trying to discover the deeper levels of meaning in the symbols there, you are learning the language of Lester. That language is spoken by artists like Brian and poets, whose works are informed by rich symbolism. Discovering it through study, through looking within ourselves, and through interaction with fairies, not only teaches us the language, um, sorry, I'm just going to, so we can see her face, there you go. Not only teaches us the language of fairy, of art, and of high poetry, but it also gives us keys to our own psychic abilities, and to the deep levels of our own psyches, where the singers and the creative force of unity are most easily found. Through revelation and the ecstatic experience of the mystic, Leicester faces and leads us into the future. She prefers to let the old stuff of the past fade away in the illumination of insight and newly accessed wisdom. You may be finding apparently random events and ideas are falling into a pattern and beginning to make sense to you. Things may be flowing more easily than you are accustomed to and your decisions and choices may be bringing an unusually high degree of success. Psychic abilities, hunches, intuitions, foreknowings are becoming clearer and making more sense. Trust in this process. Leicester also brings psychic dreams, forelighting the future and illuminating the present. These dreams often speak in symbols as fairies are, um, as fairies want to do. So what is it saying? It's saying, you know, your psychic abilities are getting stronger and stronger and stronger, illuminating your path forward. Your connection to your higher self is becoming more and more powerful. You're, you know, you're literally illuminating from within. 
So it is, you know, basically you're going through this like, and look how similar. I mean, that's crazy. It's like her on a stone, right? Um, so amazing. So that's the guidance for today. It's like harness your higher self because you are ready to blossom into this beautiful butterfly. And also, you know, the power, the rainbow body, you know, this is all about balancing the power, unleashing the rainbow body, seeing life like a child and being able to be calm and living in that moment of now and the power of now. All right. I hope that helps and if you want a fairy read, um, what I did, this deck because it's, um, <laughs> for, for me, so there's basically very much, they, they kind of like look like people so I can intuit straight away so there was one card that I knew straight away was my twin and uh, the write up was so perfect and really gave good guidance so if you want me to intuit, intuit the card for you or your twin, um, then I'm doing a $10 fairy read. So I will do that for you and send you a little video. All right. But in the meantime, enjoy these amazing crystals and the magic stone. I love that that came through in the letter this morning because literally I have just placed this magic stone on the crystal grid. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. All details are in the link. If you want healing, reading, being a part of the crystal grid, um, channeled letters, anything like that, anything that I can help you with. Oh, one, I'm just going to share it because this lady has just sent me an amazing email. And uh, again, just, it's nice to share these things, right? Because it can help other people. So um, she just came back and she said, um, the readings have been the clearest, the most direct communication from God, the divine goddess I've ever received. I just wanted to thank you for being such a clear conduit for the universe to communicate to me. Um, I have put you on speed dial. Um, and she was saying that it, it enabled her to get a much stronger connection um, between her and her connection, you know, her higher self, um, which is invaluable, right? Sometimes we do need a bit of help to um, put us back into the frequency um of you know really making clear messages between us and our higher selves it happens to all of us that sometimes sometimes we let some background noise get in the way and so somebody needs to come in and just help you put you back onto the frequency where it you can be really clear in getting that guidance so if i can be of help to you then um i would love that uh all details are in the link but in the in for today, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy this amazing, you know, I just love these crystals. They are amazing. Oh, the other thing is I was drawn to go in there because my twin spirit said buy a necklace. And so I saw this necklace and then when I was researching, <laughs> it was brilliant because when I was researching the crystal, it was an Amazonite, which is about creating boundaries. <laughs> which I just thought was, you know, again, I mean, it's amazing. There's the, the, you know, the guidance and everything is just, you know, it's quite a wonderful world and an amazing time that we are moving into. So I hope that helps. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye.